Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This month I thought I would do a challenge of doing 30 days of sweet green to see if it affects my body or my weight at all. Sweet green just came out with their subscription service, kind of like monthly pass type thing, where you pay $10 a month and for every sweet green you order, you get $3 off, which means if you order sweet green every single day, you save around $90. And I just wanted to see like, what my body would be like after those 30 days everyone's doing new year's resolutions challenges and i have digestive issues but whenever i eat sweet green they go away so i'm gonna try that today is january 9th and so i should be able to check in every single day until february 9th to see what happens i'm really excited i already have my sweet green here and i have my piece of bread as well it is $14 and then with $3 off 12.46 um, and so yeah that's what I got today I also have a new year's resolution to go outside every day even though it is really cold and everything about my body wants to stay inside I want to go outside every single day and walk and I think having this sweet green challenge will definitely help with that so I'm gonna eat this now with some YouTube. Guys, I'm about to go to sleep, but I wanted to take note of how much I weigh before today is over. Okay, and there it is. So 34.8. I can do it and we're in this together. So 134.8 is where we're at. So we'll see how this goes. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of the Sweet Green Challenge. It is Monday, and I've already made my order on the app. Um, so I made a create my own, and that came out to um, $11.92, so cheaper than yesterday's. Hey, guys, so I'm leaving right now to get my sweet green. I'm gonna put on my Bala bangles, which are arm weights for walking. I'm only gonna be walking for like 30 minutes to get my, 15 minutes there, 15 minutes back to get my salad, but it's good to, you know, use some arm weights. I wish I could just like get two at a time, but with the sweet pass, you can only buy one every 12 hours. Like you can't buy like five for the week. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Elevators, all three of them are broken. So I'm walking down the stairs. Guys, I just made the mistake of wearing Crocs. Cause they're not even Crocs you're supposed to wear outside. You gotta do what you gotta do to get the sweet green. Eating my sweet green for day two. Um, I'm actually not that hungry, but I know if I don't eat now, it's like six o'clock then, and I just don't eat, I, I'm gonna end up eating like a ramen or something really bad. So, but yeah, day two, not sick of it. Yeah, it's so good. I love sweet green so much, but I'll check in tomorrow. Good morning, welcome to day two. Three, if you've been following on my channel, you know that I have trouble going to the bathroom. So if I don't lose any weight, which is totally fine, at least I'm pooping better, which is amazing. I'm still feeling like kind of bloated from just like all of the eating that I did during over the holidays, but I'm feeling more healthy and better just bought in two, three days of this challenge. It's actually super helpful with planning dates with my friends because a lot of people will, like ask for to get dinner together and I'm just like, can we just go to Seed Green because I have to do this challenge. If you are not doing this challenge, that is another pro. And my eyebrows are really thick. I feel like they're getting thicker for some reason. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Hey guys, so I am currently eating my leftover sweet green. I do want to flag that it's on the box or something, like eat as soon as you can because it tastes only good right after you open it. 
kind of true. It looks super cute. Hey guys, I just got back from walking outside to get my sweet green, so that's why I'm a little red. But I got my order for today. I got the pesto chicken parm. I'll show you what it looks like. Happy day four of the sweet green pass challenge. Um, I went on Reddit actually to figure out what people's favorite orders are from Sweet Green, and the highest result was the Super Green Goddess salad. So I got that, and I'm gonna go get it now for lunch instead of dinner. Also, I feel like my eyebrows look different every day. If you haven't watched my microblading seven day journey, that's the previous video to this one. Um, but anyways, I need to go grab my salad. I'm on my daily 5k walk. Now, and I just want to show you what I got from Sweet Green on this lovely day. So, I got the super green goddess bowl, like I said. This is what it looks like. Happy day five, everybody. Um, a couple things that I wanted to let you guys know, just like observations. I realize I'm really full from all these really nutrient dense, satiating foods like spinach, broccoli, like, and like fish, like everything is so like filling that I snack less because of hunger and more so still for boredom, but I'm trying to like stop the boredom snacking. And another thing is the sweet green goddess green salad that I had last night. I didn't really like it that much, but it was $7. And I'm eating it for lunch today too. And I'm gonna just like add a couple things like avocado and stuff. But if it's $7, then seven divided by two, 3.5, that's like the same or even less as like a Trader Joe's packaged salad. Um, but yeah, it just makes me feel better because I'm eating out every single day, which is not great on my bank account, but also doing this challenge for me and doing it for you guys to see how it is. But I think I'm gonna go run to this new playlist that my brother created for me. It's like this K-pop girlies playlist and it's really, really good BPM for running. So I decided to do that this morning. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I eat my leftover salad and also when I go get my new salad. What is that? Is that my... Oh, there's a hole. Today I ordered a shroomami bowl. Um, another thing that's cool about this challenge is like there's so many things at sweet green like there's so many different bowls and salads and you can like switch out things if you want so you never really get bored <sighs> i keep looking at my eyebrows i'm so insecure about them i feel like they're so dark still um they look a little better when i have makeup on but like i really want them to like look more normal what do you guys think I think I just, I'm stupid, so I just realized that. I thought I had to get a new sweet green every single day, but I can still be eating sweet green every day, just eating my leftovers and not have to buy a new one. Okay, so I did my makeup because my eyebrows are so freaking intense that if you don't do your makeup, it just like, it's like you're just bare face and it's just like eyebrows. So I did my makeup, but I think I put too much blush on. Um, but I'm gonna put on my, let me put you guys up here, put my outfit on. So, guys, I'm sorry for my absolutely disgusting room, but I had to show you my new boots. They make my short, short legs look so long. These boots are so freaking cute. They're Geox. Um, and I'm so obsessed with them. This sweater from Aritzia, it is a zip up. I'm not really going anywhere except sweet green, so. I always call this gray goose, even though I know it's Canada goose. I always say I'm putting on my gray goose. Do you own a gray goose? You have to own a gray goose if you live in New York. And then, Gloves because I like watching videos on my walks. If I don't have gloves, my hands literally get frostbite. Wow, my face is really intense. 
So I got the Shrew Mommy. This, this is the Shrew Mommy. Cute. And hopefully this is better than the Green Goddess. If it's not, I should just stick to what I normally get. Like the chicken pesto parm and harvest bowl are life changing. Shrew Mommy and Goddess Bowl are not. My custom bowl is really good though. Mm. It's kind of getting better. Anyways, I talked too much for day five. I'll see you guys in day six. I want this to be sustainable. My therapist says you need variety in your nutrition or else you're gonna get bored and you're gonna resent sweet green, you're gonna resent salad, you're gonna resent your food. So on this challenge, don't like force yourself to like only eat sweet green. Like for me, I'm only replacing one meal and hopefully eating the entire sweet green bowl. But if I can't, I'll move it into the next meal. But I don't just eat salad all day. So yeah, I just wanted to make that clear. Happy Friday, everyone. It is day six of the challenge and I'm eating some of the leftovers right now as I cook something else for lunch. This is my lunch, salad, grilled cheese bites, and this. Yes. It's Friday and I ordered the kale Caesar. It's my friend Bria's favorite order. So I got that. And then I'll take you guys to Sweet Green when it's time and then small group and then we'll come home. And tomorrow is the last day of week one. Okay, I've been eating this salad for three days and it's not going down. And tomorrow is day seven, last day. And tomorrow I'm gonna get my last Sweet Green of week one and then we're also going to break down all the costs for week one as well so hopefully that'll be interesting and also rank the different bowls okay 32.2 so i was 138 uh, 134.8 when i started and now i'm 132.2 i feel like two pounds is not bad for two pounds is not bad for one week Honestly, my two goals for this week, as you guys know, was to help my digestion and able to go to the bathroom better. And then two, bloating. And I think my bloating, maybe it's in the because it's in the morning and I haven't eaten anything, but my bloating is definitely almost like 90% gone. And usually I wake up bloated every single day. For those two goals, it's amazing. And then the two pounds off is honestly just might be water weight. If I lose 10 pounds off of this sweet green 30 day challenge, it'd be so exciting for everyone because I feel like it's such a doable challenge. If you have like the final financial means, of course, I know not everybody does. I feel so much less bloated. this video as I promised I wanted to do a full breakdown of the cost for everything and then also rankings of all of the different salads I tried but for now let's do the finances of everything so I wrote it all down and I'll also put it here as well each one of the bowls so the first day was $12.47 $12 with the sweet green pass disc $3 discount the next day was $11.92 the next day was 9.74 as you can see kind of goes down um and then the next day was seven dollars and 57 cents and then it kind of starts going up again um 11.92 on day five and then ten dollars and 83 cents on day six and then today's bowl cost twelve dollars and 47 cents for a total of 76 dollars and 92 cents so around like 77 dollars and in terms of my final rankings for all of the foods I ate, different bowls I ate at Sweet Green, I think my top, so 
I ate six different bowls this week. Number six worst bowl was the Super Green Goddess bowl. But I know a lot of people like the Green Goddess salad dressing. And my friend Frank told me to dip the bread in it. And I tried that today. And it was like good. But it wasn't like... He gets like three Green Goddess like sauces. So I don't think it's my thing. But... And that's why it is number six. Number five was shroomami, which is surprising because it used to be one of my top bowls when I was first getting it into sweet green. Number four was kale Caesar, which is my friend Bria's favorite one. It's more like light and just like a basic Caesar salad. Number three was chicken pesto parm. It seems very simple, but it, it like is very addicting. Um, number two is my personal custom bowl. And then finally, I cannot find a person who doesn't think the Harvest Bowl is the best bowl. So if you don't think Harvest Bowl is the best bowl, please let me know either on Instagram or in the comments down below because I would love to try what your favorites are. But I really am grateful for you guys watching up until this point. I hope you'll stay for week two, week three, week four to see what happens. Turn on post notifications so that you can see all four videos and my progress throughout. But otherwise, that is it for this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.